forget this silly boy toy and get back here to the hospital. I mean, Ethan's eyes are fluttering. The nurse says he could wake up at any time, and you need to be here. Mother, I'm doing the best I can. Well, I don't think that's good enough, all right? Look, Teresa already told Ethan that he has a son. If he wakes up and forgives her, I mean, it could be too late. Not necessarily. Look, even if Ethan heard what Teresa told him, he could wake up furious with her that she didn't tell him little Ethan was his son when she found out. You know, he could wind up hating her without any help from me. Honey, we can't take that chance, all right? You need to get back here and nuke Teresa so you can get Ethan back. No, not if it means losing him. Him who? Who, who this new man? Yes, and I love him very much. In fact, I love him more than I love Ethan. Honey, look, look, I enjoy a man witch as much as any girl, all right? But a sick boyfriend does not trump a comatose ex-husband. Look, I wish you would stop badgering me, okay? I told you that I'm not going anywhere until I know he's gonna be okay. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this man. He's gonna come to and he's gonna understand why you didn't tell him that little Ethan was his son. And then the four of you will finally be a real family. <laughs> After you deal with Alistair, of course. I hope so. He didn't hear him in Rome, Mama. He was so adamant that a woman lying to a man about a child is unforgivable. That's understandable, Ethan. After all, Ivy did lie to him about who his real father was. And it's the same for me. Yeah, but ultimately, he forgave his mother. Hmm? He'll forgive you, too. 